caso per esempio di grossi frontali inizialmente intendiamo usare il numero di stabilità questa giornata si inserisce all'interno di questi tre giorni di lavoro che hanno dato la possibilità a questo gruppo di studenti di vedere al teatro La Pergola un teatro barocco, un teatro che ha una storia, un teatro con tanti cambi di scena, il teatro che ha possibilità di stupire, che nasceva per meravigliare il pubblico, ma con una tecnologia che nasce proprio in Italia in quel periodo. Questo era il concetto di eh, oggetto portatile degli anni 40. This place has a sort of a spirit. Uh, it's just like a human body. Through here we breathe the, the, the spirit and the history of a theater. Uh, a treasure coffin with a lot of precious things inside. We preserve here a chair made for Giuseppe Verdi. Uh, this is the theater of uh, Antonio Vivaldi, the theater of Bellini, Donizetti. This theater is a story itself. And I think that visiting this theater is a way to expand the horizons, the personal horizons of everyone. All the workshop was interesting for me from this pergola theater where is this something like a museum downstairs and where I can see a real Laterna Magica. I am very interested in this Laterna Magica. And when I can see all these old projectors and the old, the old technique, and when I see it, it's, it's enough for me. For me it was also a big surprise to, to see one of the first places conceived for this discipline. Now operates a big institution. Every single period or time comes with uh, its own technique and uh, with uh, technology and uh, everything was moved by pulleys and ropes but well, the system is more uh, automatized now. Eh, oggi qui abbiamo visto in un teatro relativamente moderno, un teatro che ha una tecnologia degli anni 50 e che l'ha dovuta piegare e realizzare uno spettacolo ideato da un architetto che ha un punto di vista diverso da quello di uno scenografo, è una sorta di senso struttura che utilizza materiali e tecnologie più dell'arredamento e dell'edilizia che non della scenografia. Today we attended the rehearsal of Barbe Bleu and now we see the change of the two operas they're, they're featuring now in this place, so it's really nice to, to, to see two different concepts in a diptych by the same person and I'm here and listening to people that are also working in a stage direction and uh, the setup, the conception of the scenographic space. How they created the black tunnel, I wanted to do something like this but never had uh, any solution. Now I saw how it's done, how crazy it is to realize so great concepts and, and everything is possible. In Scandice sarà possibile invece vedere più da vicino l'utilizzo delle luminotecniche e digitali che hanno cambiato la, la spettacolarità negli ultimi anni rendendola quello che si dice virtuale. If I'm doing something in, in, on the stage, I'm playing with the space, I'm playing with the time, I'm playing with another kind of experience that is not fixed by the video. They think that because of, uh, of video, uh, the set will disappear or the characters will disappear. And uh, I, I don't think there is a disparition. The thing is, the video or the cinema are languages that are getting into a new space in order to generate a new form. Uno, l'Opera Academy, dovrebbe evidentemente sviluppare ancora di più perché noi viviamo una condizione che si è fermata ad un certo punto e non si è più evoluta quindi come dire, continuiamo a ripetere siete voi la generazione che deve scardinare e questo per esempio in Europa intendendo fuori dall'Italia succede molto di più So I think he's just, he's just great in what he did and, and uh, he can learn us how to be rebellion, how to break with the, with the rules. 
if he gives us that spirit, that's much more important than telling 20-year-old uh, people which software to use, which, which new technologies to use. If you should work with him for one month, I guess he would let you take your new software, your newest things, and then show you, you still have to tell your story, don't forget it. You still have to break the rules, don't forget it, stuff like that. To me, it's uh, the opera, it's a kind of discipline that it's always looking for how to break its own codes. We are talking to people that are in a certain way reflecting and are thinking on how to break the, the codes, how to innovate, how to make something different uh, in order to make it attractive. In Latvia I have, a, with my friends, we have independent scene, theater, theater scene and, uh, uh, and group and we working uh, like we searching for new ways to how, how what is theater doing something different. We talk about uh, with Breck, for example, that it's possible some collaboration. Maybe.